Let's queer up gay culture. Hot Spots magazine hits stands with Valentine's and love in the South Florida air. Hot Spots magazine is celebrating 40 years as one of America's most respected LGBTQ plus lifestyle and entertainment magazines. This week's new issue is my favorite. February is celebrating Valentine's Day and everything about love. On stands Thursday, you are seeing the exclusive first look of the new Love is Love cover. The issue has so much to offer. Who doesn't love Schitt's Creek? And you get a first glimpse of Dan Levy and his new film, Good Grief. February is Black History Month and learn all about the cookout on February 3rd at Mickle Park to celebrate the diversity of our community. A popular feature is the celebration of South Florida's favorite Valentines. Hotspots Magazine's feature Valentines are, and I'm going to try and pronounce everyone's name to the best of my avail uh, ability, <laughs> Oscar Lopez and Elaine Alejandro Perez. Other celebrated Valentines are Hunter's GM and favorite, Bruce Howe and Inigo Valencia. There's Dr. Ferdinand Cabrera and Dimitri Bakulis. Faye Watt and Teresa Albernez are adorable. Other Valentine couples include Dr. Max and Lauren Zavlaski, Misty Eyes and John Alicia, Charlie Dros and Manny Trujillo, Lexi Goza and Kim Anselmo, Sun serves Tony Lima, one of my favorites, and Dr. Guillermo Salinas. The president of the Miami LGBTQ Chamber, Steve Atkins, is all business with Diego Conclavis. Queer news anchor and trans inclusives, Adriana Tender and Thomas Morell round out some of our favorite Valentines. <sighs> <laughs> what Valentine edition could possibly leave out recommendations in the expansive feature on the best gifts? Everything under the sun included with the best recommendations to get the attention from your Valentine. Other features include an introduction to the president of the HRC, Kelly Robinson, and her historic leadership as a black lesbian woman. Scott Holland tells you the top 10 can't miss events from now to Valentine's Day. And there is an excellent feature on Hollywood and juicy tidbits of gossip. Hotspots Magazine is truly the lifestyle and entertainment leader, and we are excited to announce Hotspots Happening Out launches. The W Boys, We Ho to Wilton on March 12th. This new entertainment television show stars from West Hollywood, me, and Wilton Manners, John Hayden. We are going to help lift Hotspots Magazine right off the page. So much fun in the new Hotspots on stand everywhere out on Thursday. Wow, it is going to be an explosive edition of Hot Spots. Um, also, just shout out to my hubby. We've been together um, for 14 years, which is kind of unheard of in the gay community. So I just want to say, love you, Todd. Um, we were not in the edition, but we are because I'm now saying it. Um, and what do you think is one of the most exciting things that we're going to bring with the W Boys in our first episode? Um, uh, to put you on the spot. Uh, cutting humor. Cutting humor. Like I will, I will. Like I used to do an entertainment show where we could do some celebrity commentary, and I, I was not afraid to cut a bitch then. <laughs> I am, and now it's going to be me saying the words. Oh, yeah, I'm excited to sit down. Get the PG sit down, people. Oh, PG thirteen. What? PG thirteen rated R. John Hayden. Mm. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, more to. like NC seventeen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's gonna be it's gonna be really fun on our podcast and so much going on. Unfortunately, we're not launching till March, but the February edition is gonna be the February really edition is already a delicious up. packed edition. Um, anything else that we're looking forward to in February, queer anchors? Yeah, um, in February we're doing a Valentine's Day Ooh. fundraiser at Cracked by Chef Adrian in South Miami. Um, if you you know download our flyer, it's in our newsletter or um, on our social media, and you bring that in, twenty percent of your check goes back to Aqua. So it's a really easy and really great fundraiser. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun calling it Valentine's Day because the day before you know Valentine's. Gotcha, oh. gotcha. Yeah. Also, also one Galentine's. of the best Parks and Recreations episodes. <laughs> yeah. If there are anybody <laughs> out there who's watched that. I mean, Thursday, I can't wait to pick up my copy and get all the juicy tidbits that we're getting. I'm very excited. I love some little like... You love a tidbit, love don't tid. you? Right, just a little tid bit. Just a little bit. Just a tid. <laughs> just the tid. Just the tid. Just Maybe put in the bit. tid and see how it feels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just the tid. Yeah, it's, it's going to be great. Uh, you know, there's... I'm sure it'll be fun for even people who are single to enjoy um, as a little respite. Yeah, you don't perhaps have to be in a couple to take perhaps tips a, of where to go a dot, for Valentine's a dot, Day. 
of love light at the end of, of a dark hallway oh that in, it leads inevitably to the grave. What the house <laughs> are you going to? Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Pick up hot spots on Stan's Thursday.